all right all right all right we are ready to go we are ready to go good afternoon good afternoon good afternoon good afternoon to you purpose family near and far wherever you are good afternoon to you we apologize for the late start just trying to to ensure that everything goes smoothly yeah all right and just in case you are hearing this audio and it is not at its best we will upload it for you you will hear it at its best all right yours truly primrose barrett oliver on called your gospel radio called your gospel radio in ultra rio saint and jamaica called your gospel radio fulfilling god's purpose impacting lives of course for the glory of god so this afternoon a beautiful sunday afternoon it's 4 26 here in jamaica this is a special edition of the we are one helpline yes celebrating the life of saxophonist Howard Folds. So very soon you'll hear from his friend more about this gentleman. All right. I hear he's really great at what he does. Amen. And we are all saddened by the fact that he has gone so soon. But you'll hear more about him, more about what they're doing. A fundraiser. Yes, you'll hear all about that from his friends and colleagues. All right? Thank you so much for making it called out Gospel Radio. We're also live on YouTube, so you can just share the link. Mr. Howard Folds, more affectionately known as Horns Man, was a very talented saxophonist who grew up in the district of Grove Road in Linstead. He worked mainly on the North Coast and mostly did tours overseas gracing everyone with his amazing talent. He was a past student of the Vauxhall High School and a product of their music program in the 1980s. His music teacher, then Dave Wedderburn, born on November 5, 1972. He died at age 48. He played with some of the best musicians and singers and in 2019 played with Alba Rossi along with trumpeter Colton Williams. Howard Foles was one of Jamaica's finest and has contributed so much to the country's musical culture. He has two amazing children, Alyssa and Dandre, who are steadily following, they're steadily following in their father's footsteps. Brothers and sisters, ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna hear now from all of his friends more about what they're doing to celebrate the life of Mr. Howard Falls. Are you there, gentlemen? Gentlemen, are you there? Are you there? One by one, I want you to introduce yourselves. So, Mr. Dale Haslam, could you start off introducing yourself and uh, right. the others follow suit? Yeah, man. Are you hearing me good and clear? Yes, clear. All right. Uh, well, my name is Dale Haslam. I'm in a short part of time. I mean, I, mean, I met Howard Falls. I don't even remember when, but it's a long time ago. And we did many gigs together, you know, with the great Ernie Rangin, who is still alive. Mr. Rangin is so saddened by his passing because Mr. Rangin said to me that 
deal my saxophone player gone. I don't have nobody to do no work, so, you know. So I really, really appreciate Fouls. And for me, in very short, Fouls was, was a drinker man, really, you know. Since I, where I live now, Fouls used to live maybe like maybe an hour from here. And whenever I call on him to come to do a gig, he don't ask about money. If the time if not, um, was not um, available, he, he would find a time where he can drive and come do what I do. And he don't ask about money, he just do it for the love of the music. So I was um, appointed to form this the, a, a little music group for Mr. Fowles where we can bring our musicians together. And I was so surprised to see how other people talking so much good things about Mr. Fowles. And it made me feel like, you know, He's re he was really, a, he, 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 he could be a little hero in, in our musical circle. And I really appreciated that, you know. And just listen to this song now. I remember the day when I called him to, to, to blow this song. Uh, the artist, Mr. Keith Dean, he did this song. And I, and I said to him, you know, it would be nice to get a saxophone, super, you know, version. And when I told Fowles, Fowles said, send it on, man. And in, in the next day, Mr. Fowles just reach up here. And like maybe 10, 15 minutes of force blowing thing away and you know, in a good vibe. I'm on a hard laugh. I never said I'm on an upset yet. So that is my short thing about Mr. Ford in a short time, you know. Great musician, and I hope he lives on forever, you know. Yeah, that's me from Mr. D. Yeah, so I'm finished speaking, you know, that, that, that's it for Mr. Dale. Yes, so this is Floyd Ossi, aka Sly. Yes, yeah, so um, yes, yes, as, as I was saying. Yes, like three one like one. Yeah, man, this is Sly. Yeah, man, I met Todd Falls like the first time I um been in the North Coast because I'm from Spanish Town. So, so I. Then I am. I mean, I said that next. You also want to read the paper? You depend on the rest of it. 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 You depend on the rest uh, all right, all right, yeah. Bueno, Sly. Yeah, so as I was saying, I'm Sly, bass player. Yeah, so meeting Howard Falls was like, when I came from Spanish Town, like that was in the 2000, I think, yeah. And we did, we did some gigs like at some resort and this one stands out. We were at um, Braco. I think the name is changed now, though. But we're at Braco, and we had a nice time. And after the gig, we had to reach another gig. And there were two drivers, like Howard Falls and the next guy. But I was in Howard Falls' car, and we, we were late. We were late, and we were like traveling so fast, and like um, every time. He yeah, um, pressed the gas, he, he turned off the AC. So I asked him why he turned off the AC, I, I, and he was saying the, the car gave him more, more power, and I was just laughing, you know? Yes, yeah, so musically, he's a great person, and personally, he's a great person. Yeah, yeah, we never, like, had an argument or nothing like that. Yeah, we just went through life and yeah, because as um Dale Aslam said before, like he used to live close to us too. Yeah, so we did a lot of gigs and a lot of stuff, which is a lot of memories, good memories. Yeah, so we're celebrating his life. Yes, yes. Thank you very much. Thank you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
All right, anyone else? That's it. Yeah, greetings. All right, yes, Mr. King Zapal. Before you go though, Mr. Sly, you need to take off that mask. It's, it's hilarious, we can't see your face. I love your statement, but we'd love to see your face. All right, Mr. King Zapal, <laughs> go right ahead. <laughs> yes, Empress, good evening. Love, light, and liberation. Eh? Blessings every time. Blessings. Yes, um, I'm, I'm, I'm King Zappo, um, Gary, Gary um, guitarist. Yeah. I'm telling this one is really a shake up in the, in the music industry. Yeah. I never lost someone, no one so close for a long time. Huh? But we were together every Sunday night. And we, we are looking forward to to that special show on a Sunday night with, you know, with um, our And after, after the gig, we all eat together, all sing and eat and share some nice vibes. Yeah. I'm telling you, there's, a, there's not a perfect person on this, this gentleman because um, he always have a positive vibes, you know? You never seem to look sad at And you don't know, say, your face and appearance till about your soul and your heart, you know? So he's a really decent gentleman, you know? We have lost a brother, a true musician. I mean, the last work I do in the studio for a couple of weeks ago, it was with him, you know? Yeah. So I'm telling you, sad, you know? But, you know, it's really sad, you know? We don't have much to say. But I'm telling you, we are not perfect, but this gentleman can't be more perfect a person, you know? Yeah, man. That night when I heard, we have to hold a moment of silence before the band perform. I'm telling him, say, yeah, man, I'm going to stop rap and hold a moment of silence. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. It was really breathtaking, you know? So give thanks to celebrate his life. And I mean, looking forward to bring some unity in the music thing, you know? Yeah, man. Man, a man can wake up and unity is the greatest, you know? Love, you know? See? Blessed everyone. Wow. I love that. I really, really love that. Um, you know, how unity is just, you know, going to come about with all of this, even though we really miss or you guys really miss this gentleman. Uh, thank you all so much. I want somebody to quickly say for somebody is listening in, perhaps for the first time. And by the way, I'm honored to be speaking with, you know, some amazing musicians. Can somebody tell the Purpose family what happened? Why he died? Can somebody just give a brief um, story or something? What had happened? What led to his death, please? Alice, you're going to take that one? Who's going to take that one? All right. I can, maybe somebody else can take it, but I can, I can based on what I heard. Yeah? All right. Go he ahead. Us, yeah, he performed with us like the week before. And when he was supposed to come back, that Sunday he never returned, I, you know, I, you know, in Ghana, next world. But you know, I said, I heard that um, he was coming from a gig on a Saturday night, and he went reach for me in slide, like in chop. Yeah. And he hit him chin, hit him chin, and he was trying to take himself to hospital. He, they would find, they find him in the car, lying yeah. in the car, lean back and no, no respond until now. I mean, and oh then God. I mean, I mean, I, mean, I, say, I can't even believe we're really here talking that, like this right now. Yeah. yeah. This was just history. I can't believe it. Eh? Yeah. Yeah. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry um, yeah. to hear that. Oh, yeah. Oh, sorry. They said, and they said um, those are like a double stroke. That's what. That's oh, it. my that's goodness. Yeah. You got a double stroke. Yeah. So it's like when, he's, when, he, when he was going in home. Yes. You know, man, he like him, he hit him, you know? You know man, that, that, that. I mean, what may I tell us a one day still have a conquer the death still there, eh? yeah. 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 Thank you so much, my friend. Uh, you know, okay. our sincere condolences, you know. Comfort yeah. from Every God time. indeed for all of you. Mm -hmm. I see someone here wants to come in. I believe it's Carl. Am I right? Somebody somebody else wants to come in. Yes, this is Carl. Um, greetings, everyone. Hi. This is Carl. Hi. See why Edwards from the Live Wire Band. Yeah. Um, well, this is more than we can bear. Um, I've known Howard Falls from early 90s, about 94. Um, I don't have one bad thing to say about him. 
is always smiling, always encouraging. Um, we have worked on a lot of projects along with our brother Deal Azam. We did um, a, a quite a, quite a few songs, a whole heap of songs we do. Um, we did a range of the um, the hand section and stuff like that. And trust me, we have a lot of material with Fowls. I have never called Fowls one day and him tell me no. If him can't come and say, Carl, we'll check it tomorrow. Yes, stay tomorrow. Um, trust me, he is a very nice person. He always say yes. One sitting is positive and right is in. And we are working on so many projects, even for the last um, festival, the popular festival competition, we had him the last song um, about two months ago. And Mr. Carl, I hit this up. Yeah, man, I hit this. And trust me, when me hear what happened, even though I still can't believe it's real, you know, I mean, trust me, it hurt and it hurt. And we just want to say, Live on in Zion, my brother. Live on in Zion. I mean, no same out of great work wherever I mean. You know, we will meet again. Yeah, man. Rest in peace. Sleep in peace. Good soul. Blessings. Indeed. Thank you, Carl. Hi. I tell you. Oh, uh, all right. Alyssa, is that Alyssa coming in? No, this is Ava, Nathan Thomas. Oh. Hi, Ava, go right ahead. Mm -hmm. All right, so I have been in the entertainment field, well, was for about 15 to 16 years. Um, and I've known Howard throughout that time period. He was a blessing to every single soul that he met. As someone shared earlier, I've never seen him upset. He's always encouraging. Um, at one point in time, my son wanted to do keyboard lessons. And Howard is a significant and important saxophone player. And he volunteered to teach my son keyboard. So that's, that's just how much he loved the music and how much he would extend himself for others. Howard is so talented to the point where I used to collaborate himself and a cabaret performer on stage. And at one point, I stopped the cabaret performer and used Howard only. And the guests would rave and ask for Howard numerous, numerous times. Um, you would tell him to do something. You, 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 you basically just give him a guideline and he would just go above and beyond to ensure that he would meet the target. Howard never asked for extra money. Even when things are hard and you know it's hard, he's more about getting it right and doing the music and making sure that everybody who hears his music is in love with it and enjoys it. Um, his soul, he's a blessing. That's as much as I can say. To his family, I want to send out a sincere heart warming love and pray, keep strong, because I know this is sudden and it's a struggle. Um, everybody who would have encountered even 15 to 20 minutes of Howard would fall in love with him. So there's not much you can say to ease the pain but Howard, thank you. Thank you for giving me a part of your life to being a friend to me and to being a friend to others. That's my two cents. Thank you so much, Aval. You know, I'm getting so emotional because I am emotional. I'm an emotional person. You know, I have not known the gentleman personally, but just hearing all of these sentiments really make one emotional. Carl, are you coming in again? I see a hand raised. No, that's the same hand raised. I'm trying to take it now. All right. <laughs> Great. All right. So we can move on and I uh, believe at this time, can we do a moment of silence, please, um, for Mr. Howard Falls? All right. Um, Miss, um, um, I think yes, there's a lady. I think there's a lady, uh, Miss Angela here from from Howard. 
fast school. I don't know if she would want to say something. She just joined the, 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 the Zoom. All right, Miss Angela. Angela, welcome. Miss Angela, are you ready? Or you could, um, we're gonna take some more sentiments uh, towards the end. So if you want to um, get yourself ready, we can move on. All right, so Purpose Family, this is a special edition, as I've said before, of the We Are One helpline that we have here on Caldo Gospel Radio. We Are One Helpline is each day at 9.25, but today we had to go live with the special edition of the helpline because this beautiful family of musicians have taken on a task to have a fundraiser. And uh, Mr. Dale Haslam, can you just tell the Purpose family more about this fundraiser that you're having in honor of Mr. Howard Foles? All right. Um, I was summoned by some musicians. I mean, about last week, a week before last. I mean, um, you know, I should put together. I mean, um, a group where in um musicians could come in and support Mr. Falls because he was a very hard worker, and you know, we know that COVID, COVID come in and 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 hum, put a hum on a lot of musicians, um, earning, you know. So um, when I was someone that was like, well, I don't know how to do this, but I know like for me, I'm a very simple person in the musical industry. A lot of people know me, so I mean, the person say, I'm there, you are best suited for this job. So um, what I did was just to, um, with Mr. Andre Campbell, Mr. Vinian, Mr. Richard, and Mr. Fraser, I'm quite a few more persons. I just make them admin so they could add whoever they know. And right now, I think we are maybe about 175 persons in the group. And um. We just ask everyone to do what they can because Mr. Howard Fowles have two, two kids, you know, um, Miss Alicia Fowles and, and DeAndre Fowles. How best we can, you know, assist them, you know, in this time, because it's a very sad time for them, you know. Even though I'm not, it's, 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 it's blood family, but I'm his musical family, and I feel, I feel it so much that, you know, so I decided, you know, I meet up with his daughter, met up with his daughter and, I'm here now, you know, willing to, you know, mean to serve as a, you know, a family member, you know, you know, for them. So we asked for a contribution from from, from from persons, you know, and it's coming in, you know, but you know we can still do better. But we give thanks to God for what's happening, what we what we collect already. So we're still looking for more help, and I mean, you know, that's everything will be donated to his daughter and his son and for his burial. 100%, you know, confidential. Yeah, so that's, wow. the, that, that, that's it basically, yeah. Wow, congratulations. And, you know, I want your, you, you to come on on camera, Mr. Haslam, so they can see your face um, while you're speaking. And, uh, you know, congratulations to this family of musicians for this noble move, yes? Um, and who knows, you may have a foundation coming out of all of these um, Fundraising, fundraising events, you know, foundation in honor of his legacy, or, you know, just going towards Jamaican musicians, you know? So, you know, this is, this is a really, really good move. Um, can you tell persons how they can contribute if they are led to do so? And not only if you're led, please do contribute uh, to this effort. Can you go yeah, ahead and tell them all the various ways they can? We have an account number that, I, that we have created. And, um, most, most, some people who don't go through the account, they send it straight to um, Western Union or MoneyGram, which we are in um, since Thursday. Every day I'm downtown collecting money in lines. But you know, when I collect it, it goes straight to Mr. Fowles, you know? And because um, I've, been, I've worked with many top musicians and some credible musicians like Mr. Ernest Ramlin, Dean Fraser, Desmond John, those persons, I've worked with them and they have never robbed a musician that I know. So I take the same initiative to share that same kind of, you know, consent with musicians. Not, you know, I can't take musician money for granted. So whenever a musician records, I believe musicians should get good pay. So 
people have, have trusted me to collect this money from Mr. Fowles. And the first thing I did was to find out from the bank how I could do it. You know, that everything could be vivid to, towards person who are giving, right? So, you know, everything that I've collected so far, I've gone straight to Mr. Fowles, you know, and out of the 170 persons, I mean, 60 persons have given already and we are near the, very, the, the package target, but we want to get more so we can donate stuff to his daughter and son. I've already the trust fund we are in. They can, you know, they can see their way through life because I know, you know, he meant them well. He was always talking about what he wanted to do for his kids. You know, he's a, he's a man when he, he tried to do four gigs a day. You know? Wow. So they trust me to, to do that. So, you know, I'm, I'm really, I, you know, I'm a teacher now. Yes. It's hard. I'm teaching my class and my phone is going up all day. But wow. I, you know, I have to do Mr. Falls. You know, I go yes. downtown all day yesterday. From eight o'clock, I was downtown yesterday. And when I ready, let's go straight to the, the bank, put it in, and I update the people in the night to where we are. So we're still looking, okay. we're still on our way, but we are looking forward for better. You know? Yes. All right. Awesome stuff. So you can continue to contribute forever and ever. Amen. But there's a limit. Is there an initial limit that you want to achieve? Well, I know the package right now. When I spoke with the daughter, um, she showed me a package, and I was I, I was scared because I said I don't know if musicians, you know what I mean. But I mean, we are close to the target for the burial, but we have to find money for um for the church, for um the persons who will be making the graveside, and you know just to get some refreshment when people come out. And yes. When when that is ta- when that target is is, is is over, we want to make sure his son, who is um yes. the man, he can, he can, he don't have to worry about the future. His daughter can be assisted in going back to university and stuff like that. Because yes. I believe in education. Because I started my educational journey in my 40s, finishing wow. up. Wow. If it wasn't for my educational journey right now, maybe I would, you know, I'll be back in country. You yes. Understand? But I, de- I, I decided to go back to school. So having to help his daughter and son, I think is a very good thing right now. You know, after we have finished, you know, if we call it a certain amount of money, it will be open public, open to the public, and it will yes. be given to his kids to a fund. Wow, amazing! Boy, well, purpose family, I'm gonna feel good. What a family of musicians! I love it. I love the vibes. I know he's smiling wherever he is. The legacy of Mr. Howard Folds one of Jamaica's best saxophonists. And how you say people can contribute again? Just remind them, please. I mean, what do they write? Um, you know, Western Union, MoneyGram, but how, who, do, who, do, who do they send it to? Or is there a contact the number they call? And yeah, what's up? My, just, you can give them my number. After you finish, I'm going to give you my number and the account number. Okay. Can you do that now, please? Are you able to? And it would yeah, my, again. Num- my number is 374. Mm-hmm. Four is zero, two, three. So if persons want to contribute, they can call me. You know, All right. I've been calling and, you know, I, uh, one thing with me, I don't know. No one knows me still. You know, in this time, there's a lot of scamming going on around you. So All one right. thing I need to in life, you have to be honest to people. Can't rap people. So Absolutely. That's my main motto, honesty. Understand? And this is hard for our fault. If it wasn't for fault, and it's musician, I'll do it for a musician. But I don't really okay. want to take people money. But I mean, a lot of people say, boy, I deal, I don't know. Yeah, if I don't normally do them thing here. But My God. Say, so I'm doing it. And I try to be very, very vivid in terms of clarity. Click, you know, so people can see where I go and where the money I go. And I'm yeah. going to say, I think we take it gone by sugar and water and stuff like that. I mean, you know? Yes. Create for myself. He would do it for me. So I'm doing it for him. Yeah. yeah. My God. So, no, 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 let me start for crying up because I can't. Jesus. We have the cash up. When I heard you playing that song, I was like, my God, I remember the day. I mean, even yes. the phone of the saxophone, I mean, like if I listen to this song right now, like it, 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 it erupts something, something inside of me. He's right over the corner, then blow, blow this song right in my hand. Because I'm a little student right here. I'm not telling you, I may listen to the voice a while ago, like it touched my heart, man. I tell you, say, I remember the day, I remember on one, and he was so excited. I was put in the track, man, and just start playing saxophone. And even the gentleman that wrote the original song was blown away. And he was wow. also saddened by um, the person that we suppose we met for the first time. Wow. You know, you know, Purpose Family, we have to hear just a tidbit of it. 
Um, it's entitled, what's the title again, uh, Mr. Haslam? It's title of the song is Jesus, I Love You. Let's take it from the very top and hear this amazing saxophonist. Take it away. <laughs> tell you indeed I tell you the beautiful sound there of saxophonist Mr. Howard Foles. Of course you're if you're just joining us this is called Old Gospel Radio in Ontario St. Anne Jamaica yours truly Primrose Barrett Oliver here with you and it's a special edition of the We Are One Helpline and we're celebrating the life of Mr. Foles and it's a fundraiser and um, you know I'm just so blown away by his skills with the instrument and just blown away by the sentiments, you know, congratulations, um, wherever you are, you know, it's good when people can say good things about you. Nobody's perfect, but let me tell you, when somebody can say good about you, that's a legacy. That's, that's quite something, you know, I know more persons want to come on in. I want to say special greetings to Mr. Derval Oliver, my husband, God bless you, sir. Prudence Barrett, God bless you, the girls. I'm going to take another, I believe Miss Angela came in. 
Mr. Vincent came in and crushed her. So I'm gonna take those uh, comments and sentiments right now. Thank you so much, Mr. Dale as Haslam. Remember, we also have, they also have the Zelle, the Cash App, everything. Just call the number that was given and um, you'll be told what to do. Can the other individuals come on in at this time? It's now five o'clock in the eye in Jamaica. You can now come on in, please. Just unmute, unmute your mics and come on in, please. Hi, everyone. Who's coming on? Hi, can you guys hear me? Mr. Crusher, are you ready? Oh, my goodness. No, you know what? See with me now, Mr. Andre Campbell, because Mr. Durbel is trying to get communicated to me, you know, but I'm not, I'm not understanding that it's the amazing pianist, you know. Oh my, just see with me now, please. I, I'm so I'm getting so emotional. That's the truth, because we are all undergoing a pandemic that is just really just you know impacting our lives in so many ways. So stay with me. Please, Purpose Family, help me welcome at this time, Mr. Andre Campbell. God bless you, sir. Good evening, everyone. But I believe there's a lady speaking just before me. So I don't know if she wants to go first. Ladies first all the time. She was speaking. I don't know if you were hearing her. No. Is it Miss okay. Angela? All right. I think, I think Angela was there. Perhaps it was her. Miss Angela, the gentleman is asking you to go ahead. I'm not hearing her at all. Hello. Andre, you want to go ahead and then she comes in? All right, no, no problem. All right, greetings, everyone. Blessings to everybody. Bless you. Um, it's really um, heart-wrenching time still for me um, with our, the transition that Howard has made recently. Um, as he has touched many lives, and as you are hearing, you have heard, and will continue to hear how he has impacted on everybody. Um, greatly. Um, one of the, I will try to keep it short. The um, fond memories is um, we met in the early 90s as well. Um, and his disposition was of great humility. Um, and it went, it got, it got better when he took his instrument. And I mean, he was as fluent as ever. Um, and he was always willing, and you could feel his personality as, a, of course, a caregiver spirit um, to many through his music. Um, quite articulate. Um, however, we have shared many, many occasions, um, live shows, you know, um, just practicing, just listening to each other. He would... He, I know recently he has been working on his new album. Um, I was privileged to, to have heard some of the tracks and his creativity just got bigger and bigger, you know, as the day would go by. Um, so yes, that, that is something that musicians, we, we ought to embrace as well. Although he's not here, his music will live on, um, Howard Falls. Um, so Howard has, touched my, um, personally, when I've asked him to play for family occasions, he has always been there, just about willingly. And if he's not able to make a function, as you have heard, he's either his book for something already. So, um, but he takes it with a smile. He comes with a willing heart. He's such an example of a true Levite, a person that is, that plays with a lot of joy. I don't, I think it's, it's, it's about, he brings joy to the table. Um, he adds to wherever needs to be added. Um, and he never really spoke about himself. He never spoke about himself. He, I'm, I'm mentioning about his humility. Um, I remember he had some issue with his first car. Um, so I called him the next day. I said, how oh, are you got through? You got a mechanic? And he said, yeah, man, that good man, that taken care of, man. So I said, okay, who, did, who took care of all of that? He said, I did. I bought the book and I read the manual. He took his engine out, put in another engine, took his transmission out. I don't know if you guys are aware of such a 
excellent music, um, not just musician, but mechanic that Howard was. He would put in these transmission, take out this one, and then learn the electrical part of it. And I was just blown away. And I remember seeing this big thick book that you would see when you go to an auto shop and they have all the codes, all the references, how I got that and went into details. He was, they, they, he was such an intricate, um, he took the intricate approach in learning. So hence his, his fluency, writing music, hearing it. I remember I um, was at a high school and, you know, I needed backup. <laughs> so I called Howard and, and on the road, he probably pulled over, write the music, you know, play the um, thing, scored it right away, send it back to me to help students with their CSEC. So he contributed to schools as well. He contributed to persons we never met, just even via phone, via WhatsApp. Um, you hum it to him, he scored it just like that. And I'm not talking about software scoring, nothing wrong with that, but I admire his ability to write music. Um, and you just would find these great things about Howard, you know, um, and his level of perfection was to make you better um, and to deliver the sound. You could hear the, 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 the soul coming out of the sax a while ago, the, that belting, that resonance that came out of the saxophone. Um, so, you know, God bless his soul. And, you know, we, we pray the strength for his children and um, grateful for the support group that has been established. Um, Howard deserves it. He's a true hero. God bless you all. It was an honor to have known Howard. God bless you. Indeed. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Uh, Andre. Crusher Campbell. I tell you indeed. Miss Angela, are you ready? That's just beautiful. Ms. Angela, are you ready? Mr. Vincent Ricketts. I saw him indicating that he wanted to come in. Who's next? Hi. Can you hear me? Yes. Is this Ms. Angela? No, this is Howard's phone's daughter. Oh, hi, Alyssa. God Hi. bless you. Come right on in. Our deepest condolences to you and yours. Come I'm, on in. I'm very sorry I can't turn on the camera. I'm very emotional at this time. I understand. Go right ahead. You know, um, hearing these words about my father, um, it, it, it's, it, um, it just puts you in a very emotional state. Um, my dad was a very um, great man. He was my hero in life, and I can also say in that he put up a fight. My dad put up a fight to be here for my brother and I. And sadly, um, the Lord carried him home. Um, uh, my father was, I can say my father was a pillar in my entire development. And to be honest, I owe it all to him. He has moved me into the person that I am today. He was um, very protective and um, very encouraging. I could call my father at any given time. It doesn't matter if he has a performance, if he has something important to do, whether he's traveling. My father would just um, pull over and he would just give me, even if it's five minutes, just five minutes, just to know that I'm okay. And he, then he would say, Alisa, the only person um, that can pull you down is yourself. And you know, it really hurts because never in my wildest dream would I imagine being here and live talking about my father in this. My father was everything and was always everything to me. And to lose someone like that, it is heart wrenching. It breaks you down to bits. I don't, I, I don't even know how to explain it, but it hurts, it hurts a lot. If tears could bring back the, my father, my father would be here. I tell you, my father was, my father was everything. And I, it, I don't even know how to explain it, but wherever he is, I know that he's doing an excellent job, an excellent job. The Lord has received my father and it's a, it's a blessing because my father was 
<laughs> my father was a great man, a very, 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 very great man. And I thank everyone who has been reaching out to us. Everyone that has been supporting us, giving us um, encouragement and all of that. And I just want to say thanks to everybody. We really appreciate it. Thanks, guys. My God. Indeed, indeed. Thank you so very much, Alyssa. I know it took a lot to just share that just now. Anybody else wants to come in? Anybody else wants to come in? Uh, I believe Mr. Vincent Ricketts. Yes, sir. Come right yes. on in. All right. Evening, everyone. God um, bless you, sir. Thanks for having me. You're welcome. Vincent Ricketts, also known as Vincentio. Uh, just to share a little about Howard, I, I, I call him King Foley, King Falls. And I heard Dale and the other musicians speak about him playing the saxophone. But Howard was also a very excellent one-man band. And he was very good at, at um, playing at the piano bar. You would go and hear Howard at the piano bar. And let me tell you, you call any song in the book, and Howard would play that song and sing that song. We, we have been friends for years now. And I've never seen, there's never been a dull moment with Howard. It's as if getting angry is not in Howard's DNA. He doesn't know how to get angry. And I, I consider myself, I, I feel very honored because Howard has passed on the legacy to me. He, he taught me how to play the saxophone. I, I, I don't know how many persons got that privilege but I am honored to be one of our students. And I just want to ask God to bless him wherever he is now and may his soul rest in peace. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Vincent Ricketts. I understand that you are an outstanding musician yourself. God bless you. Anybody else wants to come in? Ms. Angela, are you ready? Hello? Ms. Angela, is that you? Yes. All right. Hi. Welcome. Can you introduce yourself and go right ahead? Well, I'm Angela Plummer. I'm a past student of Vauxhall. Um, Howard and I was in class, known for over 34 years now. And since leaving school, we haven't met that much. Only like when we have groupings, we drop in when we have the time. But knowing the award, he was always humble, respectful. He always there for the ladies. And basically, he was always there for us when we need any little thing or any support of others. But I just want to say, may his soul rest in peace. And if the other group members from class would come in and say something, it would be better because much of them have had a, um, time with him. And he has his other music friend them, so I don't know, they might be shy to come on like myself, so I don't know. But that's just what I have to say about Howard. And wow. I mean, Mr. Dale, the other day I came to Ochi. Yes. yes. So I know him. Indeed. Yeah. Thank you so much, uh, Ms. Angela. God bless you. Anybody else want to come in? Or if you're yes. shy, you can just express yourself through music, you know. Who's that? Unity Yard. Come yeah, on, man. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. God bless I am, you. I am Leighton Thomas, um, a producer. Um, I'm the CEO of Unity Yard family. And um, I've known Mr. Howard for about over, little over three years, probably four years now. Um, as being a, a, a wonderful soul, very humble, and um, very encouraging. is a is a is a individual where any situation you could go to Howard and he will he will sit you down and talk until you have to beg him to stop. <laughs> that was Mr. Howard, and he, he, he had played a, a few um um a few tracks for me. And I'd like to dedicate um this one, which is the last track he played on for me. Oh, I just wanted to play for, you know, even a few seconds of it, just to, 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 you know, to honor Mr. Howard, if I may. 
Go ahead, sir. I won't um, take up everybody's time. I won't take call even to, you know, to, to express my sentiments. Um, as I said, um, my few words to the families, um, stay strong. I've, I lost my, 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 both my granddad since year, one in um, January and the other in what, June, July? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I know exactly how family members um, feeling and, and thing. And um, just stay strong. Yeah, man. And, um, I know he's, he's in a very nice place, so don't worry about him. And he, he's, he, I think he will be accepted anywhere he goes. Yeah, man. So thanks for the time and um, peace out. Indeed. Thank you so very much. You know, just looking at him with the saxophone in hand, you could tell he got pipes. He got pipes. Mr. Dale Haslam, anybody else? Has anything to say? Uh, in case you want to call in, the number is 770-9553. And uh, this is a special edition of the We Are One Helpline on Called Out Gospel Radio in celebrating the life of Mr. Howard Foles. It's a fundraiser and we are going to meet the target. Yes? All right. So what's next? Uh, OJ. All right. Come on in, Mr. OJ. Yes, can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you. Yes, yes, good. Well, I'm, well, I'm Nikki OJ, entertainer, cabaret performer. Used to be anyway because of COVID and all of this thing. But um, I've, I've worked with Howard during the latter part of the 19th, of the, the 20th century. Um, you know, at the Grand Leader San Susi. And at the time, my band needed a keyboard player and um, and they introduced him to me. And when he came, he said, um, he, he, he said, he's a saxophone player. He said, no, but I want a keyboard player. He said, well, I'm playing a little keyboard. He said, all right, go on, go on, go play, you know? <laughs> you know? And let me tell you something. Um, he has developed, he is, 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 um, his intention to, to, to become the keyboard player for the band, it, 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 um, it has developed so much because of his determination, you know? Um, and I admire that with him. You know, I can remember at one point, <clears throat> at one point, at one time, um, one of my favorite female artists was coming. Um, that's, Miss um, Brandy Crawford was coming to do a, 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 a show, and I gave him the the and I gave him all the hit songs because you know they say they, um, they wanted the band to for her to, to, to do a show, and they gave her, and they and I gave him and I gave him all of the hit songs they wanted him all of the nice songs. I mean, our music married so I just give him all of the, the nice songs him and Howard Gorman and then swap them and then swap them real good. When we come back, man, and 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 rehearse, I'll start, and Randy come down and start with the songs, man. And um, Randy said, just yeah, next song. And when she hear the songs, I'm a go to man and Howard up 
pit for them on the, 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 the keyboard and the man. She said, but you guys are doing all my hits. <laughs> so at the same time, because it's so hard. <laughs> he, led the, he led the band very good because he, he, um, he, he, he went home and just, and just did his homework, you know, and he led it very, very well uh, in, in terms of the music. And, and and Randy was very very pleased. I I even have that that show on on um on tape, you know. It's 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 um it's a memorable moment for me. And and Alisa, I I was just listening to your 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 memory of it, of your dad. And as I was just listening to you all, I can say to you, my girl is, blessed are those who mourn, for they shall be comforted. And um, condolences to, to the family. And um, he's like a, he's like a brother and a son to me. Um, you know, I've, I've never I've never had a I've never seen him in any in any I've never seen him upset yet. I've worked with him for about four or five years, and I've never seen him upset. Uh, and um, the last time I spoke to him. I asked him to do a soundtrack for me. And um, the soundtrack that says, God cares all about you. And he'll be there when you see me through. And when the world has come with you, he'll care about you. You know, when I heard of his, of his asking, you know, I, 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 I just, I was just thinking of that song to him. You know, God cares about you. And he'll be there to see you through. You know, so um, I, I um, and I know that if he, if if he was if he was alive, he would be very much um, caught up over the passing of 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 Karen Smith as well. Yes. You know, so. You know they 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 they'll both meet, and I, and I believe that God God is just 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 He's just collecting His people, just collecting His people. He's just collecting His people. Once again, you know, condolences to the family and um, and Howard, my friend. My um. I, um <laughs> oh boy. I I um I know that wherever you are, you you, you it, it is God's choice for you to be where you are. And um just um just be as you are. Don't change anything about you. All right, huh? Don't change anything about you. May your beautiful soul rest in peace. Thank you so much, sir. Oh my goodness. <laughs> the heart of the people who love him the most rings out. Beautiful indeed. Sincere condolences as well to the family and friends of Miss Karen Smith, uh, Jamaica's one of Jamaica's best sing um, singers. Wow, this is just so very touching. And I was waiting for the singers to come on in because, you know, we're emotional and you guys are more emotional than me because you know him. And I just, you know, by, by Mr. Durwell Oliver, you wonder why I called your gospel radio. I remember one day, Mr. Oliver said, you know, I met a friend, a colleague, and he wanted somewhere to rent. And I was like, yes, let's give me the information and I put it on the We Are One helpline. And that's how I knew of Mr. Foles, you know. And so very soon after when I heard, you know, the sad news, I, I felt it. So I can just imagine how you're feeling. But you know, a 
tinge of excitement and celebrating such an amazing talent, you know? And when, the, when, when he sang a while ago, I just felt his heart. I said, yes, sing, 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 play the instrument. Indeed, celebrating the life of Mr. Howard Fold, just a fundraiser. So we're live on Call Your Gospel Radio. All right, where do we go from here? Where do we go from here? Anybody else wants to come in? We're going to wrap very, very shortly. Uh, Mr. Haslam, somebody else wants to come in? I just want to say I put the um, the account number in the chat. Or yes. Whosoever want to donate. Yeah. Yes, please. And we can also put that up on YouTube. If somebody, if somebody could just type that in, um, we would appreciate that. All right. Yeah, we'll put it in the chat. I put it in the chat a while ago. Awesome. Thank you so much, Mr. Campbell. God bless you. God bless you. Uh, sorry? Anybody else wants to come in? Anybody else wants to come in? We're going to go shortly. Um, Mr. Haslam, can you speak to... Um, just a move. I understand there's a move to just encourage uh, musicians and friends to get on board, um, you know, with some insurance or something, some encouragement. And, you know, we've learned lessons out of everything in life. And um, can you just tell us about um, that encouragement that you have been initiating for um, your musician friends? Well, um, as I youth growing up, I grew up in the country, you know, in life, you have to make some preparation. You know, you always know you have to try and make a preparation to see the, the maker. Yes. But not only that, you have to make a preparation as a young man. Because always you make Mr. Force that like, he's gonna buy a piece of land and he's working very hard. You know, and you know. So I, uh, my in- encouragement to musicians, and not only to musicians, but everyone, try set up something for your own benefit in life in terms of true insurance and all these different in- investment places like you know, Sagicor or Guardian Life. And I encourage everybody. So what I did, I don't even know Miss Ava, but um, she reached out to me and I tell her to do a video. And I, have it, have I put it in the musicians group so musicians can really look into themselves. There's so much investment in your space and, you know, insure yourself in terms of if you're in an accident on the road, any little thing down the road. When you're 60, 70, if you live to see so long, you want to put things in place so you can have a better liberty. When you get older, maybe somebody can take care of you with a little money where you have. So I always ask the people to try to put some investment on themselves. Invest back something on yourself. To, you know, to, I encourage everybody to, I mean, check out one of these companies and see what, them, what benefit can be or it can be beneficial to you. So that's my thing because I don't want to be selfish with it. I have to share it with musicians. And not only yes. with, with insurance, I mean, also with in, um, investing in yourself through music. I mean, try, because for me, I went back to school as a big man right now. I just graduated last year. When I go back to school, I was so dense. But I leave the school on top of the whole school. Everybody in the six, top six school, I was the top boy living there. But in, wow. I, I went to school and I pushed myself. I just pushed myself. And even Fowles, because I called Mr. Fowles to offer him a job at the school I'm working now. And he said, Dale, I'm going to go to Edna Man and get my papers. And when I, you know, I told the principal about him and he was ready to go. And man, I can't tell you when I hear that he passed, man. I mean, you know. He touched all of us, all right, man, you know. So that's song what you hear playing there. I will not, in the tower hour, we can play like our team song in my life. I mean, you know, Jesus, I love you. The saxophone. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, so that's, that's my little bit for everybody. And I hope wow. everybody will just, you know, use this time to um, just um, focus on yourself, take a self reflection. And what journey yeah. we start now? Looking at your life. Uh, yeah. So right, so look in your life and see how you live. Leave Babylon. Say so Babylon, you might be right now. And if you pull off a shackle, the man, you know, and come towards, you know. Oh my goodness. I believe that. Yes, Mr. Haslam starts to preach. You know, I, I I really love that. And congratulations, sir, on graduating. God bless your heart. You can share with them the other day I met you, and he said, "Just go all our meds." I don't remember where you say you went. Could you just share that? Because sometimes you find you have to do them kind of things that do can relax your mind. No, um, I don't I don't really go party because I play so much live shows. So sometimes to find peace of mind, I will take my guitar with me and maybe just go to a play field or some nature place where we can look on God and just not really look on God, but you can just be in a private moment with nature and just reflect on your life. You have to reflect on your life because 
build all them rich money in the world. All those people have things. They maybe was one place, one time in them life when they did where we fish power with there right now. But they had, they had to do some reflecting. Reflecting is very important. That is all you get to change. Take the bad things and go good for you. It's like a car with, with four tires and one rub out smoothly one to take off. You have to look on the bad tire in your personal life and erase them bad tires and put on new things that can edify your life, your life grow. Or right, just like some flowers and eat some weed out in the garden. So the garden can grow, the flowers can start grow. You have to weed out sometimes some bad things that kind of stop you, some bad energy. So I always find some quiet place to go and just reflect on my personal life. You know? You understand? And I see someone just said something about the funeral. Um, yes, yes, yes. I had I, that I can, I, 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 before the week is out, we will confirm, but um, I've spoken to a church um, in Ocherius, the First Assembly of God. Um, mm -hmm. one, of the official, one of the pastors there was, was Mr. He, he and Mr. Foles used to live at the same place, so you know Mr. Foles well. So they had, no, they had no problem saying yes. So right now we're looking at the seventh, but it's not confirmed as yet. Between no one, you know, because we're gonna pay, pay for this part. We're trying to get it in scare tone. We're not sure as yet, but before the week is out, I can tell you, we're gonna be confirming it. And based on, on the support which is coming on, coming in right now, I'm I'm professing that uh, I'm prophesying by weekend we can pay for the package, you know. Uh, yeah, I'm prophesying that, and uh, and I'm I'm, I'm hearing support of Alicia. And I know everybody in here right now. Andrea came by Mr. Vinny because Mr. Vinny came down from Kings, took her down from Kingston and went up to Brownsville with Mr. Andrea came down. Like, you know, everybody's really showing their support to her. And you know, we are all just behind her right now. And uh, you know, uh, you know, to make sure her father transcends smoothly. Yes. I tell you, she's a queen. She's just so blessed to have so many brothers and sisters. You know, big ups, man, big ups, musicians, a musician family in honor of Mr. Howard Foles celebrating his life. What a legacy. Um, I hear there's a candlelight after this. What's what's up with that? What time is it? Alicia. Oh, Alicia. Um, yeah, um, I was That's the information that. here. Let me just read that for them. So account holder, Dale Haslam, D-A-L-E-H-A-S-L-A-M. This is for the listeners especially, because those on YouTube can see and Zoom, right? And the bank is uh, Scotia Bank. The branch is Ocherios, account number 000026-3100. That's 000026318. Of course, the account type is savings, all right? And if you need any clarification, you can reach out to us here at Call Out as well, and we'll give you all the clarifications needed and put you on to the relevant persons. Anybody is coming in? There's a candlelight later, I understand. Alicia, can you come in? Let us know what's up with that, what's happening with that, what time and all of that. It's 5.33, we're wrapping up right here. Right, um, call um, I, I, after this, yes. I will talk with, 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 with Alicia and then um, you know, in the chat, I, and I will share it with you as well. So, you know, to, so we to can make put that up it, online. Yes, so up, yeah, yes. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Great stuff. All right. We got, we, 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 we're coming down nicely. Anybody else want to say something before we go? Let's go. Let's go. Listen, I know everybody not going to get the tributes in because he has such a big family at the Thanksgiving service. So if you can get some in, get some in. We're going to go shortly. Ava is here, Nathan Thomas. You need to open the mic and sing something in the Ava. You sound like you're a singer, you know. Open the mic and sing something. No, Lord. I want the singing to start. All right, that was, that was the, my strong point. Oh, okay, so you're, what do you do? Sorry, what, what instrument do you play? I, I don't play an instrument. I'm a oh. dancer. Well, I used to dance oh. when I was oh, in the okay. All right. Awesome. I don't know why I think you're a singer. Lisa, maybe you need to think about it. I don't know. <laughs> People always say that. You hear that? All right. Nice stuff. Who is coming in? We're almost through. 
Come on, come on, come on. We're almost through. Can somebody communicate? I'm, I, I, I can hardly see what's going on in the chat. Let me know if we can just wrap this up right here. It's 534 in Jamaica, in Florida, and in New York. It is 634. Anybody has any final words so we can go? Anybody has any final words? We are winding down here. Mr. Derville Oliver, what do you have to say about Mr. Fold? Do you want to go on the Zoom? I'm not sure where you want to go. And um, let me turn this camera on. Let me just yeah. turn it back on here. All right, Mr. Oliver, come on. Yes, purpose, musicians, greetings, greetings. In the matchless name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, you know. Um, greetings to every one that is on this line. Um, Brother Falls, I tell you, um, I've known Brother Falls for years, you know. Um, coming from Edna Manley, um, from 2003, through the studies from 2003 up to 2006, came on the North Coast about 2007, and I started the uh, local trail, I think, um, Kinsley would have known about it if he's listening. Sir Kinsley, we started off with Sir Kinsley and then um, um, do a little thing with Mr. Miller and, um, you know, myself, Clive, Clive and Sachs and um, Sean on Jump, those three of us. And, um, you know, playing in a little trio there, you know, and then along the line, I met um, Sir Andre Campbell and then, you know, Sir Howard Falls. Um, at the time, I did not know that he was a saxophonist, to be honest. Um, you know, and seeing him come over the Rivera side in Ocho Rios, Sanders Rivera, not River, no, it's Mana, yeah, Mana. And um, seeing him doing the, the, um, the sing along sing along vibe and playing piano. I said, boy, I, I, I never know that this man have so much balance and all these things and singing along and, and just entertaining the guests then. And everybody know that Foz is a very cool musician. He's a man where you can just reason, he does have a good reasoning with Sir Foz, you know? And every little time you, you meet up with Foz, Falls would always have an advice to give you, you know, solid advice and it was reason, you know. Um, you know, life is so funny, you know. And, you know, um, purpose musician, I tell you, life is so funny. It's just like a, a month, a little bit over a month ago, I saw him at Kelly's, Otrios. And, um, he said to me that, you know, I was getting some breakfast up by, um, what's his name again there? Curry. Curry. I mm -hmm. saw him up by, by Curry, you know, trails and thing. And, you know, some just brought me to just go over and just talk. And, you know, talking and talking and things. And he was saying that, boy, you know, he won't move from which part him there because of your problem, then that I give him and this and that and, you know, and things like that, and him saying, want well, leave. And him saying, you might come from X place and get a punch and all these things. So, you know, he just stopped to get him tire fix and him want to um, um, change in tire. And he said, want well, change the tires him for the vehicle and all of that. This, that is like over a month ago, you know? And I, I came home and I, he said that he wanted a new location. And I said it to my wife here, and um, he said, all right, we'll try to get the word out to see if we can um, do it subtly, in a subtle way. Don't call any names or anything like that to see if we can, you know, ask persons if they can assist in with getting a new location and all of that and thing. And, you know, but it just, it just sad, you know. The man of me and him just did it, just attack. That good look at time and he called me because you know, we were there and he just pulled me aside and um, thing and him uh, tell me and express these things to me and things like that. And I said, boy, God almighty. Just, it's just a shocker. 
for me, when I saw Dale put up that poster to say that Paul's Paul is no longer around, it's like I said, it's come like it's a joke, you know. Then I said, oh, that's why they met out of us. That's why they met out of us. You understand me? Paul's are my virgin, talk, big time virgin, you know. I mean, me being at, I being at plantation there, playing the piano there and so Paul was um, more to the bar side, I think, and he was there, you know, he just come in and he just had listen and, you know, I don't know, if I've done it, don't work, and he just had listen to me and all of that and he come in and man, he just did it. The reason. And today, you know, by, I don't know, I don't know. And I say to God, me just, I feel I wonder if if if, if me now uh, if me in a reality if I, if this really 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 happened. Yeah, so so Foz is a decent, was a decent man, decent man. Anybody who know Foz very well, you know, in gear the expression is like, yeah man, see, yes. I say talk to you and you go with it, you know. He say yes, see. Yeah man, yeah man, yeah man, yeah man, the same one, you know. Yeah man, yeah, 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 yeah man, yeah man, yeah, yeah. The kind of expression <laughs> I'm having, you know, same talk to you. So me know him and me just know and you know, the other day, great guy. Great guy. So much to say about us. Yeah, they may see him again, sports and him. You know, he might tell me all these things that like, about the pandemic and say look at money and thing and and me, I express the same things that the pandemic make the whole of the money done and all this shit. We are talking about the whole pandemic business and the funds that we work and all of that. So, this same guy, and um, I just I just want to express condolences. Yes. You know? Yeah. To the family. Condol- condolences to the musician family. The music fraternity, you know, we here at Cardo Gospel Radio want to just say we are really sorry about this. And, uh, you know, it's a big loss. Yes. It's a big, big, it's a huge loss. In the in the same breath, um, Karen Smith, I've worked with Karen Smith as well too back in the day. I've played a show for her at Couples Tower Isle. And um, we want to say that it's that's also a huge loss as well i don't know her personally but based on the the onset you know she seemed like a very you know pleasant person outside of the performance very 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 vibrant very um expressive smile the laugh all of these things she has all of that pot (laughs) <laughs> you know, yes, man, Karen Smith, Indeed. and trust me, dear Matilla, me can talk about falls. So falls are one of the one of the one of the great saxophonists. Not only a sax, good saxophonist and a good musician, he was a great person, and wow. he is sadly missed. He's sadly missed. Indeed. And um, yeah. And, and I hear he uh, plays a little keys too. Yes, so he's yes. multi-talented. Yes, man, he's good and produce and everything. So him, you know, him do him look out thing and produce and you know him, all of these things, play on people's track, a number of tracks all around and things. So Mr. Oliver, bless sir, up. Bless up. Mr. Oliver, can you just a short prayer for the family and friends, please, before you go? Because <laughs> we're gonna wrap up right now. All right. Even now, Father God, we pray for this family, we pray for the proceedings. We thank you for each and everyone who has given towards this cause and so father god i pray that you'll cover everything lord jesus i pray that you'll touch the bereave even though i'm grieving lord god touch me touch the entire family uh, of musicians touch her touch his daughter and son i believe uh god almighty i pray that you reach out your hands and cover them on their blood pray that you'll strengthen them through during this tough time have your own way lord god in a special way we give you all the praise and we give you all the glory in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank Blessings. you. Thank you One so love. much. All right. Man. We got to go. Is Mr. OJ coming in to close with a beautiful song? Oh, my goodness. I just want to know if he's coming in to close with a song because he just, he just touched my heart just now. Let me see. Mr. OJ. Yes, I, want to, I really want to. 
I really wanted to do this this, this song, uh, but I didn't, didn't want to do it into the tribute because I didn't want to cry while I'm doing it. It's oh, a, go it's right a, ahead, my friend. A fitting song, um, remembering Karen Smith and Howard Falls. In the morning when I rise, in the morning when I rise, in the morning when I rise, give me Jesus. Give me Jesus. Give me Jesus, you can have all this world, but give me Jesus. And when I am alone, oh, when I am alone, Yes, when I am alone, give me Jesus. Give me Jesus. Give me Jesus. You can have all this world, but give me Jesus. And when I come to die, oh, when I come to die, yes, when I come to die, Give me Jesus. Give me Jesus. Give me Jesus. You can have all this world. You can have all this world. You can have all this world, but give me Jesus. My God, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful indeed. Sir OJ, salute. Mm. Yes, so we can form a choir. The orchestration, the orchestra is here. Everybody's here. Oh my goodness. Mr. Howard Falls, beautiful soul, beautiful singing, sir. OJ. Mr. Dell, please do the closing remarks. I don't know, Mr. Andre wants to say something. We gotta go. We gotta go. It's 547. All right. So um give thanks for everybody who has come out. You know, this is, I mean, you know, it, it, it was even, it, it, the way it planned, it was maybe, you know, we never know it would turn out so well. So we really, 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 truly and truly give thanks for this time. And I really, really, you know, tonight, I mean, when, when I play tonight, you know, when I play any song I'm playing tonight, trust me, it's for this moment. All right. So, I mean, bless everyone. And, you know, I mean, as I say, I mean, I'm in touch with, with, with his daughter every minute. I, you know, whenever she wants to call her, I just call her when I want to get things clear up. So, I mean, you know, we're just here to support the family right now and support Lulishan because everybody right now goes through a time. So let's keep it going, brothers and sisters. You know I mean? Indeed. Indeed. Yes. That's it. And, uh, and also, right. sorry, we just, I Go just on. want to say thank you um, to let's, you know, on the behalf of everybody here. Just want to say thank you, Primoz, Miss, Mrs. Primoz Oliver and thank Derville, our, our talented husband, both talented couple, power couple, um, for facilitating um, everyone here, this platform, um, YouTube, Zoom, and others. Um, thank you, my friends, for supporting us through this medium. So God bless you both for facilitating this great evening uh, where we could encourage and express our sincere appreciation of the life of Howard Fowles. So God bless you again.
You're through? You're through, Mr. Campbell? A call came in and I'm not sure if oh, you're through. You're yeah. through? Yes, okay. I am through. Yeah, man. Thank you so All much. Right. Yes. You're most welcome. All right. All right. Thank you. Indeed. God bless. Thank you. Thanks for ringing, but we can't take any calls now. We got to go. Please post your sentiments online. The YouTube video is there. We're going to post it on Facebook as well. All right. And remember, the information to give is online as well. Give, 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 give. Give, and it will come back to you. Give on, Purpose Family. Ten minutes to the hour. This has been a special edition of the We Are One Helpline right here on Call Your Gospel Radio. Yours truly, Primrose Barrett Oliver, saying ta-ta. One of the stands, uh, one of the standouts. I mean, everything was amazing. Everything was amazing. All the sentiments, all his friends who came on. Beautiful, beautiful. His daughter says, no one can pull you down but yourself. That's a Howard Falls quote, y'all. Mm -hmm. Take that to the bank. Yeah, I hope somebody writes about him. Write a book or something. Just do something. All round out. Musical genius at a saxophone is, was Mr. Howard Falls. That's it. We continue to celebrate his life and legacy. This has been Primrose Barrett Oliver. God bless all of you, the Purpose Team. Thank you so much, Mr. Durval Oliver, Prudence Barrett, everybody. Listeners near and far in Jamaica and across the world, in the UK, Canada, wherever you are. Thank you so much for listening. Please like and share, and let's get to the target and over so the musicians can have a foundation for Mr. Foles and also for musicians who want help in any way they need. Thank you all for being with us. Thank God for this opportunity. May we learn all the lessons. May we care for each other. Don't wait until it's too late. Call up somebody. See how they're doing. Go through your contact list. Forgive quickly. Love deeply. Amen. And give your hearts entirely to God. Be blessed. Take good care of yourselves. And rest in the arms of God always. All right? everybody if you're still on just say your goodbyes and we're gonna go just say your goodbyes just come on camera and say your goodbyes all right god bless you all God, 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 God,